The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Nineteen-year-old Martin Gordon is adjusting to life after being in Florida's foster care system for more than eight years. It was basically go to school, come back to the foster home or group home, wherever I was. And that was basically life. Laws had forced kids and their foster care families to get approval from social workers and judges on nearly every decision made, creating a feeling of isolation. What we have done is bubble wrap these kids and deprive them of any kind of normalcy when it comes to childhood. Driving a vehicle is one of the things that most teenagers look forward to, but earlier today, Senator Dieter said that only 2% of foster kids are able to obtain a driver's license at the age of 16. That was one of the things that I couldn't do. I couldn't even practice. Federal lawmakers listened to Florida's new Let Kids Be Kids bill, give an insight on possible changes at the federal level. And as we will hear today, states might examine a law Florida enacted just this year that is designed to ensure foster youth are treated more like every other child. Secretary David Wilkins says the strict rules made it difficult for not only kids in the system, but the adults trying to help those children. Foster parents are burdened with paperwork, court responsibilities, a list of job responsibilities all centered around protecting the child. Now federal officials are looking to Florida to see what changes to make so foster kids everywhere feel some sense of normalcy while living in the system. In Tallahassee, I'm Mount Horn reporting.